I live in Newburgh, Maryland. I also like to thank you for letting us as citizens participate in the democratic process. Um, I'm also the president of Southern Maryland Audubon Society, and we're a nonprofit conservation organization made up of over 800 members from Charles, Calvert, St. Mary's, and Southern Prince George's County. We have 200 members that live here in Charles County, and our mission is to foster the stewardship of birds and wildlife and our natural resources and the environment through education and conservation. We urge you to not approve the proposed comprehensive plan for Charles County. Charles County has a long history of democracy dating back to the days when county residents such as John Hansen, William Smallwood, and Thomas Stone made decisions that had a positive impact on our county, state, and country's existence. If you approve the plan, what do you think that will do to our county? Would you like to leave a legacy of natural heritage or one of asphalt and cement. Voting for the proposed plan will not only be an insult to our democratic process, but also to those forefathers. And so I ask that you help restore our faith in democracy and return to the process that involved truly participation of the citizens. Charles County is the home of four important bird areas, which are areas of land that are considered to support significant populations of birds considered vulnerable. They're Mattawoman Creek Important Bird Area, Chapman Important Bird Area, Zakaya Swamp Important Bird Area, and Nanjimoy Important Bird Area. And they're in parts of the county where natural habitat still remains. They include a number of birds, including species of threatened and endangered, and habitats that are uh, endangered as well. If the habitat specialists, which are birds that need specific habitats, were gone, it would be because the ecosystem is no longer good. If you vote for the proposed plan, you'll be saying goodbye to a number of forest interior dwelling species, including the prothonotory warbler, Kentucky warbler, the worm-eating warbler, and the wood thrush. You'd also be sending a packing ticket to the whippoorwill, red-headed woodpeckers, prairie warblers, and barn owls and bald eagles. The habitat fragmentation and water quality degradation associated with the process uh, proposed plan would be devastating not only to birds and wildlife and people, but the economy of the county as well. Due to our proximity to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, in the suburbs, the county hosts a number of eco-tourists who also come here because the place is still natural. They spend time and money here, go birding, observe wildlife, hike, fish, bird, and hunt, and we would also lose Thank their you, money Mr. enjoying the wild Charles County. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Dye, if you'd like to come